Fly Dubai, the budget airline, is not yet one year old, but already has a fleet of seven planes with another six due for delivery before the end of this year. The airline is actively adding new destinations with Muscat and Kuwait just this week, as Greg Fairley reports. <laughs> Customer safety of passengers and crew are paramount on Fly Dubai. Takeoff was smooth and stress free from Dubai's Terminal 2. Destination Muscat celebrating another new route for Fly Dubai with a landing and cutting of the cake. When it comes to aviation, Dubai is a city that believes you have to grow the market in order to generate rewards in business. Having both competitive advantage and scope is essential for a fledgling airline like Fly Dubai. You know, budget airline or Fly Dubai, you, you know, we are there to make things easier for people by uh, making them more convenient. And I think uh, for the business people, and I, I've m met a lot of people who say thank you very much for Fly Dubai because now I can get in touch with our customer more often than I did before. Dubai International Airport's projections for 2010 are for 46.6 million passengers, being a destination for tourism and commerce, and rapidly becoming a world hub. The low-cost airline sector's growth is only possible when the laws governing it are in place. Dubai started the open sky policy in 1937. That's the first countries in the world. I also challenged the United States delegations in Montreal when he said that we are the first. We said, no, we are the first. Well, this open sky policy is now all the countries are following it, and I'm very happy to see that Dubai is leading in that. Fly Dubai intends to double its network and employee base in 2010, with $4 billion of aircraft currently on order for a total of 50 planes. Muscat is the airline's third GCC destination after Doha and Bahrain. We are the first two countries we have the open sky policies. So uh, any airline registered in the UAE, they are most welcome in any time, in any numbers of flights. The Sultanate of Oman currently welcomes around 2 million tourists annually, but hopes to increase that to 12 million by 2020. Dubai, on the other hand, aims to attract 15 million tourists by the year 2015. Here in Muscat in Oman, of course, the key drivers of the economy, like elsewhere in the GCC, is tourism and also regional business. Now, the ties between the United Arab Emirates and the Sultanate of Oman are already strong, and this twice-daily flight now is strengthening those ties even further. Greg Fairley, Emirates News.